Welcome. Thanks for spending some time with us. Yes, sir. Fresh off the field from first day in pads. First day in pads, you might get some guys amped up a little. What did the coaches kind of say maybe last night in meetings to kind of make sure everybody's on the same page? Because you're ultimately playing against your own teammates. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like we play the game in pads, you know. So obviously playing in shorts and stuff is important as well. But just being in that element that you're going to be in every Sunday during the season, I feel like it's really important. So that was kind of the message that they gave us. And, I mean, we went out there, and I feel like both both sides practice hard, you know. Obviously, I, I know I wish I, I had a couple plays that I wanted back. And it takes a little couple days, I feel like, to get used to the pads after not wearing them for whatever it is, maybe seven, eight months. But, yeah. I mean, definitely a good start for that. What was your takeaway on the way your defense is coming together? Sean McDermott, have you noticed anything different about the way the – particularly now in pads where they're starting to, you know, all right, now let's see if we can do some stuff. Anything different about Sean calling those instead of Leslie? Uh. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Coach McDermott does a real good job of explaining everything, breaking it down to us, and uh, he's just real de- detailed with his approach, whether it's first, second, third down. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, we got to we got to make it work on the field as a player. So we really take it upon ourselves to go out there, be physical, play fast, and uh, also play smart. Because when you know what to do, then you can play uh, the right. fastest at the fastest speed possible. Leonard Floyd comes in in June, and mm-hmm. we've heard Vaughn talk about this. Like Vaughn's more than willing to help you. You know, pointers, tips, things like that. But at the same time, your body type is completely different from his. So there's mm-hmm. some things that don't translate. Yeah. Leonard's body type is a little bit closer to yours. Mm-hmm. Long, you know, long-limbed. Are there some things you can pull from him as a vet that may cater more to your game because of your body type? Yeah, I mean, uh, kind of just, just wa- watching the way he, he rushes. I feel like we rush kind of similar. We use speed. We use a lot of power, too. So, mm-hmm. uh, like you said, just being longer guys. But we definitely uh, talk a lot and kind of bounce ideas off of each other and just see what we did well, see what we did wrong, and see how both of us can get better. Got a lot of guys. Um, look, a couple of new faces yeah. in the room. Plus, you're, you got a couple of new faces on the other side of the ball. Yeah. Both guards, brand new, and a lot of guys that are backing up. What? Uh, how are how's that chemistry going? How do you feel like those the other you know, new offensive guards are playing? You, I know you've moved down inside a little mm-hmm. bit this year. Uh, talk a little bit about that transition for you and the and the new guys that you're gonna you know look through your face mask at. Uh, I mean, it's been fun so far for uh, both of us on both sides. And uh, I know I, I played a lot of inside in college and even played inside with some uh, last year. So I mean, it's been fun to go in there. And those guys are competitors just like I am. So those, those new guards they look good in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Maybe you can push this agenda for me, but I really like with Floyd here now, him and Vaughn on the outside, you kicking inside where you're familiar because you did it at Miami. You've done mm-hmm. it here a little bit. Mm-hmm. You line up next to Ed, and here's our NASCAR package. What do yeah. you think? No, nah, that's fire. You, you want to push yeah. that for me? <laughs> Work on that in the meetings, will you please? Because I, I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, no, he wants sure. to see it and take credit for, for sure. it. <laughs> what he wants to do. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. <laughs> What, do you like that though? No, I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like it. It kind of brings out all of our skill sets. You know, having Flo and Vaughn out there. Obviously, uh, we're all fast, but but they're both just if they're both screaming off the edge, and then, and then me and Ed are in the middle of making making our moves, inside moves, or or running games with the DN on our side. Yeah. All of that stuff could be real lethal. I feel like. Yeah, you can't double everybody. Yeah, somebody's can't. getting a one on one somewhere, right? Somebody's gonna win. Tell us a little bit about your off seat. You came back coming in third year. Yeah kind of a big year for some guys yeah. have you kind of because i know it's is it we're transitioning into the pros you got to take care of everything in the off season you got to get your own support network you got to yeah. find your own place to train you got to yeah. get your own routine Facts. how'd that go for you this year and did you do anything different than you haven't been either wanted to do or able to do in the past did you get any to you know what i mean did you take a step forward in the mm-hmm. off season training um I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I changed too much. You know, mm-hmm. I, I always lift and run pretty hard, but just definitely right. worked on just uh, small little pasture of things that I thought that I could work on, just like my my double swipes and stuff like that. Just mm-hmm. little little details from the season. Also, just you playing with my hands more and, use, and using my leverage, keeping my pad level down. Because as a taller guy, you got to be able to stay low. So just a couple of little things like that that I feel like go co- correlate directly to the way I play in my game. Those are the things I kind of worked on during the off season. But everything else is pretty much the same. Do though. you have some dudes that you that help you with that? Like, are they? Big enough guys to lay. Like, yeah, yeah. I was, you know wor- I mean? I was working because I can't help you do that. I'm yeah. like not tall enough. No, nah, fast. I was working with uh, the Forrest Buckner and, uh, ah, and, Eric, and Eric Armstead. We were working yeah. out in the off season, so I was, I was nice. trying to take stuff from Where'd their you go? game. Where was uh, that? They were at Clemson. Yeah, so we okay. were all at Clemson. So I was just trying to take things from their game, see how they play with their hands, use their leverage, just little things like that. Because obviously those guys have uh, similar body styles to mine. Right. Yeah. We had uh, Brandon Bean on the show a couple of days ago, and you know your name came up. 
you know, you're entering year three. So mm-hmm. is Spencer Brown. You guys are playing important roles. Yeah. You know, we want to kind of see you guys break out, which I think you were on course to do last year before the damn high ankle sprain popped yeah. up. Yeah. Because um, you had four sacks in your first four games. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> Brandon had a funny comment. I don't know. He said, when I was talking to Greg, I told him everything he's doing is great, mm-hmm. but I need a little a-hole in him. Mm-hmm. Like, attitude-wise. Because, yeah. I mean, you know, we only interact with you off the field. Yeah. And, you know. Your parents raised you right. You're a good guy. You know, yeah. you're nice to everybody. On the field, it's got to be different. Not to say you're not, you can't get nasty on the field, but what do you think Brandon was trying to pull out of you to help you take that next step? Because we know it's an emotional game. Yeah. Can you turn up the nasty? Yeah. I mean, I feel like I feel like I did last year for sure. Okay. And uh, he was just saying pretty much like this play physical, just have that edge to you, just go out there and uh, kind of just have that dominating like mentality at okay. all at all times and it's definitely something that i feel like i got i got better at like you said i'm just a i'm a chill like laid back person yeah. it's kind of just like by nature i'm not like all up in everybody's face and all that but like it was definitely it was definitely just i feel like speaking to me playing more physical and just uh, me playing like that at all times yeah and to i mean to brandon's credit he said i told him to put some a-hole in his game and he mm-hmm. did it yeah. so it's not like he still yeah. needs more of that. He, yeah. he saw it in you when he asked you to pull yeah. it out of yourself. So yeah, that was no, good. For sure, for sure. I'm going to keep going up with it. Yeah, and I like that. Yeah. So give us an idea about, you know, as you as you line up, the new team, new feel, new vibe. I mean, it's the same old training camp, but sometimes it, it does feel like Groundhog Day mm-hmm. where day 37 is just like day four was. Yep. Uh, give us an idea of, of <laughs> what do you notice this year? Is there any difference? I know all these new faces and stuff, maybe that's the biggest difference, but give us your vibe about this camp and how – different it is in what ways it is different from other yeah. camps i feel like it's not too different but at the same time it's just a new group of guys like you said you know we got some some young players stepping up uh like like uh, cyrus in the inside and, mm-hmm. and dalton and stuff so you got some new faces there we got some we got uh obviously coach mcdermott coaching the defense so there's there's a few changes but it's, it's not like a crazy change because we are i feel like the core of the team is still here still a lot of dudes here from last year josh Vaughn, Micah, Ed, uh, Daquan, Knox. So it's kind of, I'm not going to say it's exactly the same, but we still got that same core group of people that were here last year and the year before that. I know Coach Washington always wants you guys to be dominant up front yeah. and get pressure without having to blitz. blitz. Yep. Um, but, I mean, injuries really sidetracked you guys big time last year, especially yeah. on the front. I mean, you with the high ankle trying to play through that. Yep. Vaughn, we know, with the ACL Ed, come Ed Thanksgiving. High Ed high ankle. And yeah. then Phil. Big Phil with the rotator cuff, yep, yep. and then even Daquan in the playoff yeah. game can't yeah. play. Yeah. So it looked like the, the personnel department said, okay, we have talented players, but let's get some depth too. And so now <laughs> you guys pick up players the caliber of Leonard Floyd and Puna Ford in June, in May mm-hmm. and June. I mean, that's like almost unheard of. Mm-hmm. So to have those guys, proven veteran players in the fold, to go with everybody you already had, yeah. how, how lethal – does that make you guys? I mean, it's not like eight deep that you could roll anymore. It it's could like be 10, like a nine 11, or ten. Yeah, 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 facts. You're not lying. So I mean, I feel like I feel like that's going to really help us out. You know, we're going to have a lot of moving parts, and it's going to be cool to see everybody get different looks and kind of slip in at different places. And mm-hmm. whether whether the, whether the play is third down or first down, whatever. I feel like we have a lot of packages and just have a lot of like um, flexibility in who yeah, we want to get right. in the field now, and just yeah. what what personnel packages we want to push it there and what looks we want to give the offense. So I feel like it's going to be a funny year from that aspect. Now, is the only challenge with that getting accustomed, and you're probably doing a lot of this in camp, you're not just playing off the same two guys, you know, anymore. You mm-hmm. might be playing – you might need to learn how to play off of this guy, five, yeah. six guys. Yep, facts, so how, yeah. how much more time and reps does that take to kind of get a good feel for who you're with? It takes more for sure. You know, you can't – you got to be – and I feel like they're doing a good job of mixing up the rotation yeah, out there. Mm-hmm. So we're not going with the same people every single time because you, got, I'm, I might be rushing next to Puno or rushing right. next to Daquan, Ed, Tim, uh, Big Phil, whoever's in there. Like Big Phil's still gonna, he's yeah. still working on coming back. So we got a lot of faces in there. So you're right, being able to rush next to different people, you have to rush in a different type of style. Have you gotten any inkling that I mean, last year they rotated you know you front four out a bunch and they yep. always they're going to do that again. But they didn't do that in the back end. Those guys are like home, they. You know, they, once they get on the yeah, field, they, they like yeah, they chisel the their names on the field, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, do you get any idea maybe that there's – that may, with Sean calling the defense, they may do some more personnel shifting around at all? Uh, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
But, I mean, I know for sure we do a good job uh, in our group of just trying to stay ready and kind of all prepare as if we are the ones starting. Because, like, sometimes you get in the game, and then even though we rotate a lot, somebody might get a hot hand. And if that person gets that hot hand, like, they're going to probably stay in the game for the most part. So I feel like just being able to all stay ready really gives us a lot of flexibility and, like you said, a lot of depth. Last one for me, Greg. Um, I know the preseason has to come first, Mm -hmm. but that week one game is a big one. Because it's a division game, yeah. and you got to go on the road. I think you guys already know it's going to be a hostile environment because those Jets fans are stupid. They think they're going to the Super Bowl, you know. And I know they got Aaron Rodgers now, and I get it. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's not. It's the anniversary of nine eleven. Also, it's prime time. Mm-hmm. How do you kind of? And I and I understand we got three preseason games first, yeah. but just how do you prepare for environments? like that where you know it's going to be yeah. hostile maybe it's less of an issue for you guys on d than it is for the guys on offense mm-hmm. that have to communicate with the crowd going nuts yeah but how do you how do you prep yourself mentally for those kinds of atmospheres yeah i mean coach washington always says like be like uh he always says the environment changes but we don't so we kind of i know this as a d-line we have that mindset i know the whole team is super resilient and also i know personally i kind of just try to just be where my feet are at so like if i'm on the bus on the way to the game my feet are on the bus on the way to the game if i'm standing on the 20 yard line in freaking warm-ups that's where i am so i kind of keep it like small picture and i kind of i kind of just don't try to look at too much and it really helps me to stay level-headed whether i'm playing at home arrowhead new york it doesn't really matter it's just like i'm on that grass and i'm just locked into the tackle across from me and get into the quarterback last one for me so last year you guys come in and and you're preseason favorites to go the whole way yep. this year you're almost being discounted even though in some ways we think the team's way better than it was a year ago mm-hmm. it what change does that change anything for you guys i mean you got to be aware of the conversations and you know whether they're yeah respectful disrespectful yeah. they count you out or count you in uh, you got to be aware of it is there, how's that affect you guys at all if uh, at all? i don't think it affects us too much honestly but at the same time i know just personally i like being like counted out or, or like being the underdog kind of just like staying low key and then when that time comes it's, it's, it feels awesome to go out there and be able to show out so i mean for me it doesn't matter at all and i'm, I'm sure a lot of my teammates got the same attitude right. i know that's just kind of like that's the brand of how we play and how we operate here we're like a real we try to really stay humble and hungry at all times as you guys have probably heard a million times so just it's, we're just like <laughs> we're just sitting here we're just working and we're gonna be ready for the moment when it comes they can count us in count us out whatever Thanks, Greg. Thanks for for the time. Appreciate it as always. Stay hydrated. Stay healthy. All right? Look forward to seeing you out there on the field real soon. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all.